Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke and today we're going to be doing the booktube newbie tag. So the booktube newbie tag is basically just a bunch of questions to answer when you've just started your channel. I'll explain why you created this channel, why you want to upload videos here. Just a really organic way to grow our community and get to know one another. So I thought I'd do this since I've just created my YouTube channel and you'll get to know a bit more about me and this channel and yeah. Let's get into it. So I don't know who first created this tag, but I will try to find out for you guys and link their video down below. So hopefully it's down there. If I haven't been able to find it, I am really sorry. But if anyone does have the original, then let me know and I'll link it down below. So the first question is, why did you start this channel? I started this channel because it's something I've wanted to do for a long time. I've wanted to have a YouTube channel for forever, I think like most people. Um, since I was like 10, I probably wanted to have a YouTube channel. I didn't know what I wanted it to be about, but I wanted a YouTube channel. I'm now 18, by the way, so it says eight years ago. Um, but I've been on like in the booktube community for about three years now, um, just watching people's videos. Probably the only community on booktube that I've consistently been invested in, other than Dan and Phil, but that's just a whole nother ball game. Yeah. I also started a bookstagram last year, and I love being in the bookish community, so slowly and gradually I thought, I really wanted to do a booktube channel. Recently I just finished my A-levels, which are the exams you take at the end of college slash high school in the UK. And so I have a really long summer. Obviously I'm going to be working, but I have a long summer that I wanted. I haven't got much to do really. And so I thought, why not do this? So yeah, that's why I created this YouTube channel. So question number two. What are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube? Now I'm not a big fan of this question because I think everyone in this community can bring new and unique new and unique things to the booktube community because all of our opinions all of our different reading tastes all of our takes on the books will bring something new to this community because no one's opinion and experience of reading a book is the same i think my, the books i read will be different to other people's books even if i do read a lot of the same books my opinions will be different to theirs so yeah that's what i can bring different to this youtube channel to this community Number three is what you're most excited for about this new channel and I'm just really excited to like discuss and talk about books with you guys. I love books, I love talking about books, but a lot of the people I know don't read the same books as me so it's very difficult to talk about books with them. So I'm very excited to be able to do that with you guys and just yeah, get to know each other, discuss books, get recommendations hopefully, share the books that I love with you and hopefully you guys will read them and I'll be able to hear your opinions on that so yeah. Number four is why do you love reading? And this is a question and a half. I have loved reading for as long as I can remember. I was always reading. I'd say about year seven, the first year of high school, is when I read, like, The Hunger Games and that. So that sort of got me into young adult literature. And then I'd say a few years ago, as soon as I got into booktube, that's when I really started getting really invested in reading. I love reading because it's just so refreshing and eye-opening. You get to go into someone else's shoes and whether it's contemporary or fantasy, you get to like just escape for a little bit and just read. It always manages to make me feel better if I'm having a bad day. Especially fantasy, I love fantasy because you get to just completely go to a different new world and go on these adventures and these crazy stories that obviously don't happen in real life. So yeah, that's why I love reading. What book or series got you into reading? So I already said that The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins got me into reading young adult literature but I'm not actually sure what books, I'm looking at my bookshelves and I'm not sure what book actually got me into reading properly. I think maybe Shadowhunter Chronicles or The Hunger Games. I know they're really basic obvious answers that I feel like everyone gives. I feel like there's a reason everyone is saying these books because they truly have like opened our eyes to what YA is and what YA can be and so yeah. I'm going to go with The Hunger Games or The Shadowhunter Chronicles. Number six is what questions would you ask your favourite booktubers? And this is a really interesting question because I probably ask them advice and just about how they manage to do it all because it's quite a lot of work actually. Filming, editing, uploading, all of that. When you have other things going on in life, it's a lot of hard work. So when I'd ask, probably ask them how they manage to stay on top of it. I'd probably ask them for the tips and tricks on how to grow their YouTube channel. I mean, obviously, I want to talk about books with as many of you guys as I can, and the way to do that is to grow my YouTube channel, so I'd probably ask them their advice on that. I think 
it's the ins and out of the booktube community that as a viewer we don't really get to know or see so number seven is what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome so i'm assuming this is just like well the challenges of booktube i think the hardest just to be being consistent and fresh and new and trying to be unique because everyone wants to be unique obviously i don't want to be like the same old videos that you see everywhere else so i think that would probably be the hardest as well as just keeping on top of everything because like i said previously it's a lot of hard work but i will i will manage i'm sure i will get it done uh yeah so i think it's being fresh new and keeping on top of everything number eight is when did you start reading and i feel like i've already answered this i have been reading for as long as i can remember my mum always brought me and my sister up reading we would always be reading so i think when i got that game series in year seven was when i started developing my love for reading and especially YA so that was about eight years ago seven years ago in 2011. Number nine is where do you read and I will read anywhere like I can normally read wherever you put me I even just block out noise and the distractions and just get on reading especially if it's a book that I'm invested in so I do have my little reading chair which is just here with my blankets and pillows and stuff which I like reading on when I'm up in my bedroom. I also read in my bed, which is right there. I read on the sofa downstairs if no one's in there. And yeah, that's I'd say is my three, top three favorite places to read. Just cause they're comfy, they're cozy. Finally, number 10 is what kind of books do you like to read? And in case you haven't realized it by now, I really like to read young adult <laughs> fiction mainly. I know that's not a genre. I know that's an age range, but I will read nearly anything in YA. I would probably say my favourite is fantasy. I love fantasy, it's just I love being able to go on an adventure, I love them like mystical magical creatures, dragons, fairies, witches, I love witches so if anyone's got any witch book recommendations let me know. But I also love contemporary, uh, they're always really correct reads for me so that's always nice. So like sci-fi, mystery, thriller, anything really that's in YA, it tends to be what I go for, so yeah. That's it for today guys, if you liked it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. If you've created this tag, link me down below and I'll make sure to check it out. And also, if you want to answer these questions yourself, just in the comments, like what sort of books you like to read and why you created your YouTube channel, if you have one, let me know down below as well. I will see you guys next time, bye!